In this video, we'll look at whether aluminum oxide, that's Al2O3, is ionic or covalent. And the short answer, this is an ionic compound. So we could look at the periodic table and aluminum right here. Aluminum is a metal. Oxygen over here, that's a nonmetal. So when we have a metal and a nonmetal, we're thinking that it's going to be an ionic compound almost all of the time. So with ionic compounds, we really should look at the charge on the ions. So if we look at aluminum here, aluminum, that's in group 13, sometimes called 3A, this whole group, has 3 plus ionic charge. Oxygen over here, that always has a 2 minus ionic charge. We have this 3 times the 2 minus, 6 minus, 2 times 3 plus, 6 plus. So these charges, they balance out. We have a net charge of 0. The positive ions, these two aluminum atoms, are attracted to the negative ions, these three oxygen atoms. And because of that, we have ionic bonds. This is an ionic compound. Let's quickly just look at the difference in electronegativity between the aluminum and the oxygen. So for this periodic table, we find aluminum right here. It's 1.5, and then oxygen, that is 3.5. So the difference between these two 3.5 minus 1.5, that's 2.0. And by definition, for many textbooks, 2.0 and above is an ionic compound. Uh, some textbooks even say 1.7 and above. So Al2O3, aluminum oxide, is an ionic compound. This is Dr. B, and thanks for watching.